and welcome to Lake Street News. Today we've got stories about Cornell, NYSEG, the ICSD, the DIA, and more. On December 1st, Cornell students organized the Cornell Coalition for Mutual Liberation to occupy campus buildings. This was done to pressure Cornell into protecting supporters of Palestine both and to end its investments into the Israeli military, as well as publicizing and recognizing the difference between anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism. Two days later, Cornell agreed to protect supporters of Palestine, as well as agreeing to a meeting to discuss more about its investments. This meeting is scheduled for December 11th. Unfortunately, Cornell has not yet spoken on the final demand. There's a lot more to talk about, but this story is already longer than all the other ones. NYSEG held an event last Wednesday, the 29th, to yield complaints from Ithaca residents. State regulators have been investigating NYSEG after a spike of complaints from the utilities customers in 2022. Last June, the company paid over $15 million in fines for failing to meet the customer service standards upheld by state regulators. NYSEG's service reliability is among the worst for utilities in New York State. Considering NYSEG's track record, I'm surprised the meeting was even held at all. This just in. The ICSD Board of Education unanimously voted to fly the Haudenosaunee flag at IHS after consulting with, the member, with some members of the Haudenosaunee community. IHS senior Ryan Rushing said, quote, Flying a flag here at IHS would be a great platform to build off of and would start to represent a group that is typically not well represented or even represented at all, end quote. The Downtown Ithaca Alliance announced that the first night of its Ice and Lights Festival will take a rain check due to forecasted weather issues. <laughs> The festival's other events, such as the Chatter Cook-Off, will still take place as planned. In other news, a bunch of cows escaped from an auction house in Dryden last Wednesday. It's always Dryden, isn't it? The animals allegedly escaped from the livestock auction house near Dryden Elementary School. The escaped cattle have been identified as one bull and three cows. Two of the missing cows are black and the other one is white and brown. Anyone who sees the missing cows should call the Dryden Police Department. One has been captured, but the other three are still on the loose, so remain vigilant and look out for cows. I think I found one! Uh, Anyways, thank you for watching Lake Street News. And have a great week, and shout outs to Owen, Owen Kenny. Kenny! You know, going to the movies, I don't get that recently. You said you watched the movies, right? I'm going to see Trolls tomorrow. Ah, uh, that's a movie, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. You do that. Good job. Are we clear? No.